Assalamu alaikum. I am SM Abidu Zaman. I will be talking about the working principle of DC motor. Working principle of DC motor is based on the principle that when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a mechanical force. The direction of mechanical force is given by Fleming's left hand rule. The working principles can be explained using three rules. 1. Fleming's left hand rule. 2. Back EMF. 3. Torque. Fleming's left hand rule. The direction of mechanical force is given by Fleming's left hand rule. According to the rule, when current flows through a conducting wire and an external magnetic field is applied across that flow, the conducting wire experiences a force perpendicular to both fields and towards the direction of the current flow. We can hold our hand as shown in the illustration. It will represent three mutual orthogonal axes on the thumb, forefinger and middle finger. Each finger is then assigned to a quantity such as thumb represents direction of mechanical force, forefinger represents magnetic field and the middle finger represents current direction. Its magnitude is given by F equals to BIL Newton, where B is the magnetic field density, I is current, and L is length. Back EMF When the armature of DC motor rotates under the influence of driving torque, the armature conductors move through the magnetic field, and hence an EMF is induced in them. The induced EMF acts in opposite direction to applied voltage V and is known as back or counter EMF. Significance of back EMF The back EMF opposes the supply voltage. The supply voltage induces the current in coil which rotates the armature. The electrical work required by motor for causing the current against the back EMF is converted into mechanical energy and that energy is induced in the armature of the motor. Thus, we can say that energy conversion in DC motor is possible only because of back EMF. The mechanical energy induced in the motor is product of the back EMF and armature current. The presence of back EMF makes the DC motor a self-regulating machine. For example, it makes the motor to draw as much armature current as it is just sufficient to develop, develop the torque required by the load. Back EMF in a motor, DC motor regulates the flow of armature current. For example, it automatically changes the armature current to meet the load requirement. Torque Understanding the torque equation and the relationship between speed and torque is an important part of selecting and operating DC motor. DC motor are relatively simple machines. When the load on the motor is constant, speed is proportional to voltage supply. And when the voltage supply is constant, speed is inversely proportional to the load on the motor. This second relationship between speed and the load is typically shown on the motor torque curve, speed curve. The inverse relationship between speed and torque means that an increase in load on the motor will cause a decrease in speed. This can be demonstrated by a DC motor torque equation. T is equals to V minus omega K divided by R into K, where T is the motor torque, V is voltage supply, omega is rotational speed, K is motor constant and R is the resistance. Now let's see how it actually works. How it works, an elementary model is shown here in the figure to understand the working in an easy way. A turn of coil along with commutator segment is free to move about the axis shown in the figure. Two substationary carbon brushes slides on the two commuter segments and passes current through coil loop under magnetic field created by stationary poles. This leads to the flow of current in the coil shown in the diagram. Therefore, conductor on left side always experiences force in the upward direction. 
and the conductor on the right side always gets downward force. This is known as commutator action. So we can say that the work of commutator and brush is to change the direction of current in the conductor when it passes through geometric natural neut geometric neut neutral axis. We can see that because of the action of commutator and brushes, conductor of loop on the left hand side always carries current in one direction and the conductor on the right hand side always carries current in the opposite direction according to the diagram given. So this is how a DC motor works. Thank you.